Hi, it's me again, Sylvia Dana, EXP Realty, Grand Rapids, Michigan. And now I'm going to show you how to do a single property squeeze page. So what I love about single property squeeze pages is that they really just work the best. So whenever I share a listing on Facebook, um, for some reason, people want to see it. They want to see that just one property and people who I don't know start clicking on it and it's just a beautiful thing. Another thing that happens is sellers will share listings onto their Facebook pages and that generates a ton of interest. In the description of this video, I'm going to put a related other video that talks about creating a Facebook follow-up campaign specifically for those people that have viewed properties through a Facebook link, okay? I'm not gonna talk about campaigns right now. I'm just talking about creating the squeeze pages um, that will get you some leads, okay? But follow-up campaigns can be important. Um, so another thing I guess I wanna just say about that is, is if you have an activated buyer campaign and an activated seller campaign on your KB Core website, they're gonna get followed up on. But the reason I talk about the Facebook follow-up campaign is because it's just a little different. There's a couple little tweaks you can do um, that just make it a little more friendly, acknowledges that the person saw the property on Facebook and maybe is a little less aggressive. So, and it works. So anyway, I will post that related YouTube link um, of that video in the description of this video. Okay, single property squeeze pages in KV Core for eXp Realty. Here we go. So I'm helping out another agent, Maria, with creating some squeeze pages. You can do these yourselves, okay? So um, the first thing um, that we can do is, you know, we're on her dashboard and I clicked on listings. You can click on filter um, and then you can choose just to see your own listings or all the listings, ex agency listings, whatever. Um, so right now, Marie doesn't have listings. Um, so that's fine. A lot of us don't have listings sometimes. Um, and so it's we need to generate some leads to get some listings. <laughs> so um, a lot of people ask, well, what do I do if I don't if I don't have my own listings to promote well I'm so glad you asked so in the state of Michigan I don't know how the rules are in your state so please check with your state association advertising rules or your state association legal hotline um, or your local board but in the state of Michigan you can promote other people's listings the trick is you just have to make sure in that promotion it shows who the listing broker is and really that's all you have to do now if it's a fellow agent in your same agency you know obviously you can share it's your same agency um you know i guess it just like out of courtesy some people say well i want you to get i want someone to ask their permission I want someone to ask me my permission to, to promote my listing. What? Come on. We're <laughs> Why do you need permission? Why do you want that? No, it doesn't make it doesn't make any sense because you, we all want to sell listings. We want more people. We want more exposure. We're in this together. Um, so if somebody else can expose my listing, great. If they can generate a buyer and bring it to me. Fantastic. Let's do that. So that's my opinion. Anyway, um, so, um, you know, I do, if someone's promoting my listing, it would be nice if someone men mentioned, hey, this is listed by, you know, my colleague um, in EXP Realty, but I'm happy to show it to you. Or this is listed by one of my colleagues at Remax SunQuest in North Grand Rapids or wherever that agency is, um, but I'm happy to show it to you. Something like that. That's just a little more respectful, but that's enough about that. Okay. 
So some fun things you can do is you can kind of think of it as a niche. So Maria, she is a more of a luxury agent. She she has higher priced clients. And so um, one thing that I thought would be fun for her is to create kind of the most expensive home sort of single property website. So she wants to work mostly in Plymouth, the city of Plymouth in Michigan. I'm just going to search Plymouth here and it's all her MLS. And then I'm going to click on price here and it's going to organize price oh from the most expensive oops sorry <laughs> i clicked too much from the most expensive to the least expensive so i want to i don't know about this whoa that looks like it's a commercial building we're not doing that one okay let's click on it just in case holy cow um we're just going to see what is this place? Oh, no, 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 no. That's not a home. We're not going to go. I, I should have followed my instincts. Okay. <laughs> All right. Go back. Okay. So again, we're going to do this again. Sorry, people. And we're going to organize it by price. I'm looking for the most expensive listing in Plymouth, not the least expensive, $10. Okay. All right. This one's in Superior Township. Okay, this is Plymouth. That's where she wants to be. All right. So, oh, it's pretty. Okay, so we're going to click on it. Okay, so it's listed by Mary Gladchen. And it is a beautiful home at Mystic Forest Drive for $1.79999, basically $1.8 million. Okay. Um, I think that would be fun. I think people will click on that to see that house. All right. Um, and in, in the listing, it's going to say who, who um, listed it. Um, I'll show you. Uh, but what we need here to create this single property website is we need this little MLS ID. I'm going to copy that. Okay. Are you following me? I feel like I'm taking a little bit longer than I meant to because I'm babbling. But let's do this. Okay. So I copied that. Now we're going to go to lead engine. I'm going to go to IDX squeeze page. I'm going to select the domain that I'm working with. It's Maria's domain and her KB Core dashboard helping her out here. And we are going to choose single property. Now, this is something I am going to suggest she posts on Facebook. Okay. And the hashtag, I'm going to do two different hashtags here. Um, yes, they're a Facebook buyer because they're clicking on Facebook. But this is also a fancy, fancy house. It's a specific type of house people are looking at. So maybe they're actually qualified to buy such a thing or they're just curious. So I just want to differentiate um, that they actually looked at this particular listing. And I'm going to create this hashtag. That's like my code for Plymouth mm, the high price. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to put the listing ID and I am going to allow people to see a couple pictures before they have to register with the, at least their email address. Um, I, I have it so that we're not forcing people to provide their phone numbers because I at least want an email if I can't have a phone number. So I'm not going to force anything. I'm going to force just an email if they want to look at the entire thing. So they're going to get a couple of views, though, before they have to do that, which is a little nicer. And then I'm going to generate the link. And if you watch my previous video about um, multi-property websites, um, I'm sorry, multi-property squeeze pages, you know all about these things. And I'm not going to go over that again. Okay. <laughs> 
So I am going to select the short link. The gist of this that you need to know is that both these links are the same. Um, this short link, once you paste it in the URL, will automatically convert to the long link. And the other thing you need to know is when this page goes away and I click this off of this, it, it, this page is gone forever. And if I ever want to recreate this exact um, squeeze page for this single property squeeze page, I'd have to actually recreate the whole thing again because the link would be lost. Okay? Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to test it by just putting it in the URL and viewing it. All right, look at that. So as you're scrolling down, you will notice more information about this property and you can also see who it's listed by. So the listing itself here within your KV Core makes it compliant here in Michigan anyway. Okay, and now, um, now see, I have logged off and it wants me, and I had it unsubscribed. So it wants me to resubscribe to see more photos. So that's the, so if I'm really interested, I'm just gonna resubscribe. Let's see what it looks like when I click on resubscribe. It might not, since I've already subscribed before. Okay, so I, it didn't show you the part where it asks for your email um, because I've already subscribed before. So anyway, but that's fine, okay. So I've double checked that and I've got Maria's information here where I'm just showing her what squeeze pages she set up on and what she can do with these things. So what it, this is the most expensive home in Plymouth. The description is the current highest price listing. Um, it, she's gonna post it anywhere on Facebook and these are the hashtags, okay? So that's how you do that. Let's do another one. Okay, so um, the other thing we can do is we, we've got some fellow EXP agents in this area and we can promote their listings. Um, so I kind of already got it set up. So again, I'm gonna, it's a fellow EXP agents listing in Plymouth. Um, we're gonna do it on Facebook, anywhere on Facebook is where this can get posted and the hashtag is gonna be Facebook buyer. And so what I'm going to do is go back into the KV Core platform. I am going to um, leave everything as it is. I'm gonna take off Plymouth money. <laughs> um, and then what I have to do is I have to put in a new listing ID here. Um, so how am I gonna do that? Hold please. Okay, so what I've done is I've clicked on listings because I'm going to go back and I'm going to find some fellow EXP agent listings. I already know which one they, ones they are, but I just want to show you how I get to this. So I already know the agent's name um, and, and where she is. So I know that Lynn Stevens in this um, same MLS and same area has listings. And we're going to type in her name. And here they are. So let's click on the listing. One's in Canton Township and one's in Northville Township. These are areas that Maria prefers to work in. And so again, it's got who the listing agent is and all that jazz. If you remember, I've got to select the MLS ID. And just um, what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna save this information here for myself. I'm going to go back and I'm going to grab the other listing ID because I'm going to be doing both of these. My cat's meowing. Isn't that pleasant? Okay. Again, we're just going to take a look at it. It's lovely. Okay, and I'm going to grab this MLS ID. 
And I'm just going to save this information for myself right here. All right, so 700 Roosevelt. Um, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to go back to my KB Core platform and marketing autopilot. I hope you're still with me. I'm getting a little tired today, so I feel like I'm all over the place. I apologize. Okay. We are going to go to, oops, lead engine, not marketing autopilot. No, 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 lead engine. Okay. We're going to go back to IDX squeeze page. Start building. All right, single property, my favorite kind. Okay, Facebook, hashtag is Facebook buyer. Listing ID, we're gonna leave it on the two property views allowed before registration. And we are gonna generate the link and then you know what to do. We're gonna test it. And there it is. Okay, I'm going to paste this in here. Now I want to tell you something else. Um, what I wanted to tell you is that I wanted you to notice these hashtags and how I'm doing these listings. Um, if this were my own listing, or if this were me, Maria and these were Maria's own listing, I would add an additional hashtag of the address. So for example, I would add here Facebook buyer and an additional hashtag of 16443 Sutters, all one word, or you know, all together with no spaces, or 700 Roosevelt, all together no spaces as an additional hashtag. That way, what I could do as the listing agent is I could mass email or mass text um, all those people that clicked on that property and let them know, hey, we just reduced the price. Or let them know, hey, we're having an open house on that property. Or hey, uh, we just we just we just received an offer. So does anybody else want to put in an offer? You know, so that's what I would do if I were the listing agent. Again, I would give a hashtag of the property address. So in this case, that Sutter's address or the Roosevelt address, all one word and a hashtag sort of format so that I could know, identify all who all those interested parties are so I could reach out to them again about that particular property if something new was happening. Okay, I just wanted to say that. Okay, so um, we double checked it and now um, I'm gonna take this Sutter's ID, because we're doing another one, and I'm going to put it here. Okay, I have to generate a whole new link. Okay, so now we're going to double check and test this link. And ta da! Okay. So I'm going to save that for Maria so she will know what her lead generating links are and how to use them. All right. I hope that this video was helpful. I'm sorry if I was a little all over the place. I felt like I was. But I think you got the information. Okay. You got some ideas about single property um, squeeze pages and how to use them, whether they're your own listing maybe or, or somebody else's listing. Now, Again, other things about your own listings, um, sellers love to share their own listings on their own Facebook pages. It's lovely. Um, so there's a lot of different things you can get and leverage out of your own listings. But even what we did here for this agent today um, is going to be helpful and it is going to get her some leads. So I hope that was helpful. Have a great night.